Hi everyone, my name is Jack and I work in the search team here at Push and today I'm going to be taking through a deck on Google and their policies and will the trouble ever end. So first things first, I'm going to take you through some policy basics. So if you don't have the best idea of how Google Ads policies work, this will be really good coverage for you. So to begin with, what are Google policies? So policies are designed not only to abide by laws, but to ensure a safe and positive experience for all users. This means that policies prohibit some content that are believed to be harmful to users and the overall advertising ecosystem. So why are they in place? Google wants to support a healthy digital advertising ecosystem, one that is trustworthy and transparent and works for users, advertisers and publishers, essentially safeguarding the search engine to make sure that everything that goes out is reliable and truthful. So if we go over to this tab here, what happens when an ad violates a policy? So there are four outcomes. I'm going to be touching on the two main ones today, and that is eligible, limited, and not eligible. There's also eligible, but it's moderately restricted and eligible, but limited in all locations. So you'll generally find that you'll hit the first one or the last one if you violate a Google Ads policy. So eligible limited is a status given to ads that comply with policies, but are limited as to where and when they can appear. So this can prevent certain types of ads from showing in certain regions to certain ages or on certain devices as well. So this could include um, alcohol products, copyrights as well could be striped, uh, gambling, healthcare, and also things like trademarks as well, which I'll touch on later on. So not eligible. So this is a status given to campaigns, ad groups, ads, or keywords that are not servicing. So Google cannot allow them to show on the search engine due to their policies that are in place. So what's the crack? So why, why am I covering this today? So Google are getting even stricter on policies. So due to growing fraudulent activity, Google has upped its stance to safeguard its search engine. So recently, if you work day to day inside of Google ads, you'll find that a lot more ads, a lot more frequently are getting flagged up as breaking policy violations. So you can see, if I move my big head out of the way, you can see why can't Google get a grip? on ripoff ads. This is one headline and then another headline, Google to overhaul advertising policies after growing boycotts. So after a lot of criticism regarding false advertising and scam like ads rising up to 32% in some industries and verticals, Google has made the decision to change its policy review process. So as an example, in the finance industry, Google has overhauled its policy screening process and will start enforcing the new rules officially on September 6th. But we know as digital marketers that work in Google Ads advertising, this has been seen for a long while and it's become a lot more strenuous and strict. So again, another headline for you guys. Google UK is pushing for strict screening due to rise in fraudulent ads. Google tightening rules to stamp out scam ads. So you can see there's a lot of coverage on this and this is why Google has stepped up to cover this. So how does this again affect us as digital marketers? So not every policy violation is correct. So more often than not, Google Ads disapprovals are comprised in an automated review process, which doesn't think through context like a person would. In some cases, there's a person that will review it, but or more, than often, more often than not, there isn't. So disapprovals can quite often be mistakenly incorrect. So stressing the importance to check your ads accounts daily is really, really pivotal here to ensure that your policy violations are correct and if they aren't correct then you can flag them up so examples so trademark policy violations one of my clients hadn't experienced many policy violations before whether a new account in the portfolio covering a dealership was struck for trademark and ad text so how did this affect us this meant that our ads could run on an eligible but limited availability and you can see here in response to trademark owners complaints, we may restrict the use of trademarks in ad tech. So essentially Google's tightened its process and this is why they were eligible in a limited fashion. So moving on, PPC Hero covers this really well in a recent blog by them. While the responsibility of notifying Google of trademark infringement lies on the trademark owner, Google does have safeguards in place to flag ads for violations. This can work for you or against you. Google can, but not always does catch ads that use trademark terms and limits their reach. So in my specific case, my client was using their own trademark name, but they were being flagged up as a trademark violation and had to get this whitelisted against their name to allow the ad to run using their own brand name. So it's just really stressing the importance that you want to be on top of this. And if there is a mistaken um, or a mistake regarding a policy that you can correct it as soon as possible. So just a quick one on how to appeal if you do see this inside of your ads. So there's two methods. 
The first one is more non-urgent basis. So you go in, you highlight the ad that you find, and you can see in status, why it's eligible in a limited fashion. In this example, third party consumer technical support was the policy that it apparently violated. So we go into that, highlight the ads, and then you can see down the bottom, if I move out of the way, you can see appeal policy decision. So you click appeal policy, policy decision. You can then choose the reason for your appeal. So you've made changes to comply with the policy if it was wrong, or um, if you, as in, is if you violated the policy. But if the actual decision is wrong, you can dispute the decision as well. Then off the back of that, you decide what you want to appeal. So do you want to appeal it in the ad group? Do you want to appeal it in the related campaign? Or do you want to appeal all ads in the account? So that's the first method. The second method is a more of an urgent basis. So you can go into uh, Google support. So Google ads help, and then you can file a case from there. And that will go through to someone from the Google team, uh, Google team to review. And yeah, that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. And yeah, feel free to leave any comments regarding any questions. Cheers. Bye.